those cause a positive ANA. This is like, I think one of the most important topics of this, this whole autoimmune as well as uh, Hashimoto's topic. It's, it's, this, this one is like, this one drives me crazy. So ANA, ANA is a widely accepted test. Most people who do autoimmune testing today, medical doctors, rheumatologists, will run an ANA when they suspect you have autoimmunity. And an ANA means anti-A, anti-nuclear antibody. So these are antibodies. So what antibodies are when, when there's a bad guy in your system, antibodies don't destroy them, antibodies tag them for destruction. So an antibody doesn't destroy, antibodies don't destroy, they just tag so that the immune system knows to come on and do the destruction. So it's, it's considered a pretty general autoimmune marker. Hashimoto's is an autoimmune disease. So indeed, if you have Hashimoto's, well, let me step back. Let me step back. So anti-nuclear antibody. What does that mean? It means that it, that you are getting antibodies against the nucleus of a cell. All of our cells have nuclei, right? Nucleus. Which cell? We don't know. <laughs> it could be against any cell in your body, any cell, which includes, you're going to have an anti-nuclear antibody of rheumatoid arthritis, Sjogren's, lupus. Uh, those are the most common ones. Certainly you can have it with uh, Hashimoto's and any one of enough. They're, they now are up to like 140 potential autoimmune responses in the body that they know of. So, but here's a killer about the ANA. And this may be what generated the question. I don't know. Almost everybody comes into me goes, they don't know whether I have autoimmunity or not. And, and I already know what that means before they even get the words out of my It means they ran an ANA and one day they ran it and it was positive. And they said, oh, it looks like you might have autoimmunity, but it doesn't mean anything because the next day we're gonna, we might run it and it might mean nothing because it might not come up positive. So, not being a, uh, an autoimmunologist, but seeing a zillion of these things, it's pretty well understood that some days antibodies are more available. You have more of them flying around than other days. Some days the ANA will be up. Some days the ANA will be down. Confusing your doctor, but it shouldn't be confusing. At any given time, if you have an immune attack against your thyroid or against any tissue, you know, antibodies are going to be up and, and it's going to come up positive. You have autoimmunity. Autoimmunity doesn't go away. And, you know, so I've had doctors criticize me for this and I've indirectly to their patients. And I said, well, why don't you just go back to your doctor and ask him, why did you run the damn test in the first place? If the test came up positive, why are you telling me I don't have anything? You, it, 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 the, the mind blower is this test actually means you could have antibodies against any cell in your body. So it's actually a very good test if you just learn how to use it. So absolutely. And I just wanted to like go over all that because those, I'm going over with you the things that I see as a longtime functional medicine practitioner, probably first one in the group of doctors that was in the pool for our Hashimoto's years and I've got Hashimoto's. So I mean, I'm like, these are all things I'm trying to bring to you to bring more clarity to your situation. So yeah, absolutely. Um, Hashimoto's can cause a positive ANA. And if you have a positive ANA, you start looking, you start, you should, and you don't know you have Hashimoto's, you should start running antibodies for Hashimoto's, for lupus, for Sjogren's, for rheumatoid arthritis, for a bunch of stuff. That's, the ANA Hashimoto's connection.